Hi, my name is Bill Beverly, and this video is to demonstrate a technique for weathering freight cars with watercolor pencils. The trick to using watercolor pencils is to soak the pencil tip in window cleaner like Windex or 409 for about 30 seconds to soften it. Once softened, you will have a watercolor paintbrush with the control of a pencil. This makes a great evening project. I can select the next car to weather and sit down at my workbench and weather a box car in about a half an hour. The brand of watercolor pencils I like to use is the Derwent watercolor pencils. This brand seems to work better than others I've tried. You can purchase them at craft stores like Michael's or Hobby Lobby and at artist supply stores and on the internet. Make sure you get the ones that are labeled water soluble. They will say watercolor right on the pencil. Other brands like Prismacolor do not soften as well. Dewent colors I like to use are Bird Sienna, Raw Sienna, Van Dyke Brown, Copper Beach, Ivory Black, and French Gray to name a few. I normally keep a small airbrush jar filled with window cleaner on my workbench. This becomes handy to keep the pencil point wet. You will notice that the softened pencil will almost melt into the area that you are coloring. However, you will only get about three or four strokes of the pencil before you need to dip it back in. But once softened, it will only take a few seconds of soaking to re-wet the tip. One advantage to using watercolor pencils, if you don't like how the weathering is turning out, simply dip a small paintbrush or a Q-tip in window cleaner and erase your work. This also works well to lightly blend colors together. You can also use the pencils dry and then come back with a small paintbrush dipped in window cleaner to smooth things out. But I find I do not have as much control with the dry method. The object here is to highlight and color individual boards. This will simulate the different degree of weathering and fading from one board to another. Try to, to stay between the lines, be neat, and use a soft touch. If you get too much color on, take a small paintbrush, dip it in some window cleaner, and smooth out the area. To simulate how pigment in the white letter le leaches out, use a little French gray, under the lettering to simulate how the, the lettering is leaching out. Then just use a little Q-tip to lightly blend everything back in. Don't forget about the underside of the car. Soak rusty colored and mud colored pencils in window cleaner and use them to clean up and under all the details. Details like brake rigging, and turnbuckles. You can also use the rusty color pencils underneath metal hardware to simulate rust streaks.
then come back with either a Q-tip or a pencil. Or a small paintbrush and blend everything back in. If you get too much on, just keep on working it in till you like what you have. Once you have the weathering the way you like it, Lock everything in with a light coat of Model Masters Flat Clear Acrylic. I like Model Masters because it washes up with water and is non-toxic. I build my cars from kits, and this gives me the advantage when choosing a base coat, such as faded boxcar red. But what happens when you want to weather a factory painted model? First thing to do is wash the, the model in warm soapy water. Rinse and let dry. Then apply a light coat of Model Master Flat Clear Acrylic. This will give the surface a little tooth for the watercolor pencils to adhere to. You can also use stencil brushes to give the surface a little tooth. In conclusion, I found that watercolor pencils are a good addition to my weathering toolbox. They are easy to control and the color does not disappear when dull coat is applied. They come in a good variety of colors and are relatively cheap as compared to purchasing bottles of paint. They can be used on top of airbrush weathering or used by themselves. I hope you give these techniques a try.